Hey everybody, it is Noelia with um, previously the Functional Happy Planner, but as many of you know who have been following me, I am now my Moxie Dreams. Um, as you guys are probably aware, I've explained on my social media that I got caught up into the Happy Planner craze a couple of years ago, only used the Happy Planner for about a year. I have always been a Franklin Covey girl for over 25 years and was in a classic size. And now um, in the last two years, I've been in the compact size. So I get a lot of requests about my planner, how I utilize it. Um, and the last flip through I did was probably over a year old. The format is the same. I am a functional planner through and through. And so you will see that all of the same kind of um, dividers and systems are the same. The only thing I change out throughout the year is my dividers and dashboard. So this is my Christmas flip through. So since we're a week away from Christmas, I decided um, by popular demand, everybody's asking me to do it. I decided to do it really quickly today. So let's get in. This is my functional, um, excuse me, my it is my functional planner, but this is my life planner. I use it every single day. It goes with me everywhere. It is a compact Franklin Covey Vintage Aurora in chocolate. I absolutely adore it. Um, I was in a classic for a really long time and then moved into a compact about two years ago and I don't know how I lived without this compact size. It's my favorite. So. Um, what you're gonna see here is kind of the same layout. It's just different dividers So I'll go through everything and kind of if you have questions feel free to um, comment below and I'll answer as best I can So I just have some Hobby Lobby um, Scrapbook paper that I just cut out and put in places that I need it my simplified uh, pin that I love my Ollie clip and then I always do paper that matches my dashboard and put it behind here in the secretarial pocket because it gives it a pop of color and I just love that. Um, I keep gift cards and other kind of cute things back there. And then these are from Dazio. My daughter always kills me because she says I don't say it right, but these are uh, removable stickers and I actually absolutely love them because I color code them by using my uh, mild highlighters and then you'll see how I incorporate them in my planner a little bit later. Uh, this is a uh, card from Papyrus that I loved last year and ended up turning into a uh, dashboard. This is card. These are cards that I sent out last year to all my friends and family, and I absolutely loved her so much because I am a true Christmas lover and I love red for Christmas. But I also love this nice kind of icicle blue and these beautiful blues that kind of gave it a pop and a difference that I wanted in this um, holiday kind of organizational thing. So she's from Papyrus and I got her last year. I don't know if they're making her again. I'm sure they'll make another kind of drawing of her, I hope. Um, I'll keep an eye out and let you guys know. So this is my divider, or rather my dashboard. Behind that is my year at a glance, two years at a glance. There's a little organize um, tab that I kind of use frequently, which is why my little gold letters are kind of falling away. I have tabs here and post-its um, that I use quite frequently. This is kind of my catch-all inbox. When I'm somewhere at work or at a doctor's office and they tell me, oh, the doctor's appointment, your next doctor appointment, or just tidbits that I need to know land here and then I'll file them away later. Same for my little pocket. I put coupons or things that I need um, quickly accessible and it's kind of my catch-all inbox location. Um, then I have notes here and I have three kinds of note paper. I have blank note paper and I have kind of this box graph paper. Again, it's a catch-all place. It's some place that I can just write quick doodles or notes down and then move them into the appropriate category later. So I, I use this kind of inbox section a lot. It's where I put stuff messy and just kind of write whatever. And then when I get home and I have time to kind of just um, organize it correctly and purge it and put it into the right sections, then 
then I'm able to tear this out and just, you know, move on. So I have a little just uh, divider here that goes into my today tab, which is December. And you'll see I decorated. I normally don't decorate. This is just because I was bored. <laughs> we had PG&E shutdowns in the Napa Valley due to the severe fires that have, were going on. And I had nothing to do, and so I started to add stickers to everything in this in this calendar, which I normally do not do. So this is a rarity. And the next flip through in the new year, you'll see that I don't do that at all. But these are these little stickers that I was talking about that I got from Dazio. They're removable. And why I love this is because I color code them. I use the, um, the mild liner highlighters and I color code them for certain things um, and then what I do is if something changes like Bella has a doctor's appointment for scoliosis if something changes I'm able to pull that off and put reposition it into the place that it's, it, it moved to so it doesn't destroy my planner it doesn't have this messiness of scratching or using white out so I really love 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 those removable stickers and then I just use the highlighters to color code them for family, for personal, for work, and etc. cetera. Um, I have the November. Here I have, um, let's see, behind the monthlies, I normally have today's or weeklies. Um, I haven't been using the, the weeklies or the days a lot. I'm sure when the new year starts and I work ramps up and school ramps up there's a lot more to do but it's been the end of the year there's been like kind of not a lot of stuff that I have to get done everything's kind of taken care of but I utilize these when I have a lot of stuff going on in a particular day or I use the weeklies when I have a lot going on in a particular week just so I have an at-a-glance kind of view um, I just again have cards from last year that I use and I kind of just add them for Decor. This is a um, scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby. Then I have my to-do tab wh where I have my stop procrastinating. These are ones that I created um, from an old Target dollar spot pad that I ran out of that I absolutely loved and I just thought I can't live without it. So I just made the insert for my compact. So I have these which says ASAP, Soonish, and Winev's. Um, again, I make those myself. And then I have just regular to-do paper, to-do lists, and just different kinds so that I can just put things down. Here under my lists are actually, um, oh, I did these cute little things with stickers, just quick little to-dos that I can kind of take and put into my calendar view like this. So if I have specific to-dos to do that I wanna remember, because um, this is what is always open on my desk at work. I'm always on a monthly view unless I have a really crazy week, then it goes into the you know today view or weekly views. Um, so I have some just little spiels there, right? But under my lists are actually active lists and I won't go into it because I have different ones. Um, you'll see kind of the tops trips, things that I have for sale, um, closed credit cards because I'm doing my debt journey. So that I use these removable things. Again, they're so amazing. I use these removable stickers and I can place them anywhere. So here I put instead of to do, it'll have trips or things for sale and then I make my running list. So these are active lists back here um, and I love them. Then we have um, a goals tab. And this is kind of where I've been putting my weight loss journey, which has been so hard, but I've lost like 12 pounds this year, which is not at all what I had hoped for, but it's progress. Um, so I, I have these little um, hexagons that I put every month what I lose, how much I lose or how much I gain per month. Um, I just have a cute little insert. And a lot of my inserts, just so you know, they come in and out because I like to, I don't like to, put stress on my rings. So a lot of these, before I put them in my planner, they're cut with slits so that I can just move them about when I need to. This is my word of the year, which was restore. And so um, I love that. I did it back in front because when I do take pictures or when I'm you know, moving things around, I like to be able to see the word. Um, that is my goal. 
Then I have a daily routine tab and just kind of my waking up, my morning meditation, my coffee and garden. Now it's getting into winter, so I do not do a winter garden. So it's just gonna be my kind of silent time. Um, so I kind of have a daily routine that I like to use. And then I have these new inserts that I created are my weekly fitness trackers, which has the days of the week. Um, I log my sleep, how much water I drink, if I work out, food calories in, steps, and my weight. Um, and on the back of these just has a measurement. Um, then I have a bills tab. Um, this is the most popular one that I get the most uh, comments about. The bills tab has my budget planner. And all this is is a budget planner that uh, was from Happy Planner and I cut it down and laminated it. And before I laminated it, I put my bill pay stickers back here and I write down everything I've paid off so far for the year. And the cool thing about this is that these, because you use, um, because it's laminated and because I'm using permanent marker, I can easily erase anything I want and update. So if I charged on Ulta and now the actual payment I've paid to them is $500, I can erase how much I paid and put the correct amount so that I know how much I actually paid towards credit card. From at this point, um, this is where I have my daily transactions. So I log every single thing that I um, spend money on and I make sure that it matches from to my bank statement. I check my online banking daily. Um, I also have a budget tab and what the budget tab is, is it has my paycheck, the date that I get paid and all the bills that I intend to pay from that. And that matches with my December bills. So I have two calendars. I have my regular calendar that tells me where I'm supposed to be with you know all of the appointments. And then I have a calendar under my bills tab that has every single thing that I owe when it's due, how much it's how much is due. And I know how much is due a month before because I check my balances and my due dates. So I know in advance um, when it's due, it's the due dates never change. So these stay the same, but the amounts change. And so this is where it lines up with the budget. If I know I'm getting paid, I'm a per paycheck budgeter. So every paycheck, and the date I list, okay, this paycheck, these are the bills that I'm gonna pay, and then they should coincide with my daily um, statement online banking. So that's how I do that. Um, I get a lot of questions about this, and it, it's just awesome um, for me. I've used this forever, um, and all of these inserts I create myself. So, but it, they're super easy to do, or you can find them on Etsy, and people do the same thing, and you can make a system work for you. Um, then I have my family tab. I have phone numbers of all my girlfriends, my, my daughter's girlfriends, and so I'm covering that up because sometimes she's not home when she's supposed to be, and so I do a group text with all her friends, and they're like, oh, she her phone died, she's with us. <laughs> so I covered that up, but I have just important numbers of my son and my daughter's friends so I can easily contact them when I need to talk to their mom or something or other. Um, I have a house cleaning, which is per room. I actually have this also in, uh, it's laminated and on my refrigerator so um, that the kids know what needs to be done around the house. Um, and then I have just chores, daily what I do, weekly what I do, um, weekends, monthly, and quarterly. Um, then I did this just because I needed to know when all my favorite shows were coming out. Um, Outlander, Spanish Princess, The Crown. And then I have a Monday through Friday and weekend of things that I that record so that Belle and I basically watch everything on Friday and Saturday nights that have recorded through the week because we don't watch TV during the week. Um, and then I have my weekly menu for the week, my meal planning, all of this is under my family. And then there's a bunch of other stuff here in reference to the kids, like doctor appointments that I keep a record of when I receive the bill, when it's paid, stuff like that that I'm not gonna show you. My kids' schedules at school so that I know if, I just, if Bella has a doctor's appointment, um, I know what period I'm taking her out of so I know what classes she's missed and then she knows what homework to do and all that good stuff. Um, and then in the very back, I have just a little insert because I like to give pops of color in the background. Um, and so 
that's kind of there. I don't put really anything in the little zipper here, um, but that is pretty much it. It's very simple. I have the same four tabs in every single planner, no matter what my normal um, throughout the year, whether it's Halloween, whatever it is, as many times as I change out my planner, which isn't often my dividers, I always have to do goals, bills, and family. Those are my four things that for functionality, anything I have in my life can be fit into those four categories. They're either things I need to get done, to-do lists, or things of that nature. Goals, which is my business, and my weight, it's been my goals. Um, bills is just managing my journey of debt, being debt free, and it just helps me be able to keep track of all the bills that I pay and when they're due, and it's been something I've done for decades. And then my family tab is my catch-all for everything to do with my um, kids and meal planning and trips and things of that nature that we have going on. So. This is my beautiful Vintage Aurora Compact. I love it to death. Sorry this video is so long, um, but it is, you know, super, super functional for me. I absolutely love everything about it, um, and it just makes me happy. Um, and so I hope that it gave you some inspiration, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me below.